Guys, it's spring break. What do you want to do today? Dude, let's go outside and throw the football. Or we could go to the beach and look at hunky dudes. Or we can go outside and poop in your backyard. All those things are possible because it's a nice sunny day during spring break. <laughs> J -j 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 Junior, do you hear that? Oh, dude, is that rain? Is that thunder? Is that lightning? I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. Oh, no, look. <laughs> The Weather Channel. Breaking weather news, okay? There's a 100% chance of rain and thunderstorms all week. So you better stay inside and away from the beach because of rip currents. 100% chance of rain all week? That's a 100% chance of no fun. What are we going to do now? I don't know, guys. This is not fair. We finally get a week off of school and we have to spend it inside. I say we still go outside. Yeah. And I say we go to the beach like Cody suggested. What, Junior? We can't go to the beach. There's a thunderstorm out there. It's too dangerous. How is it dangerous? We could get struck by lightning. Not if we're swimming in the water. Well, that's even worse because water conducts electricity. You know, 47% of people who get struck by lightning are at the beach because you're the tallest thing in the vicinity and lightning strikes anything that's tall. Well, what if we're swimming under the water? Well, that's even worse because we could get caught in a rip current and sucked out to sea and then drown. And I could get my Yeezys wet. My Yeezys, Junior, my Yeezys. Oh, well, I still want to go to the beach. What if we just throw the football at the beach? But what about the lightning, Junior? The lightning! Listen, okay, everyone raise their hands who wants to go to the beach. Okay, that, that, that's, that's three people. Raise your hand if you don't want to go to the beach. Why did it take you so long to raise your hand? I had to rearrange my bones. All right, look, you're, you're outvoted three to one, so we're still going to the beach, Cody, come on. But Junior! See, Cody, this isn't so bad. Junior, it's pouring out here, and there's lightning. Cody, look, it's spring break, and we're gonna have fun at the beach. Yeah, let's enjoy it, dude, go long. Yeah, go long. Okay, I'll go long. Throw it, Joseph. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Grab the ball, Cody. Yeah! Guys, but the rip current. There is no rip current, Cody. Grab the ball. Yeah, they don't exist. Yeah, okay. He's acting like he's afraid of water. He better get my football. Come here, ball. Just grab the ball, Cody. Help me. Help me. Help me. Uh, Joseph, is he okay? Dude, he's just playing around, right? Help me. Help me! Oh no, Joseph, I think he drowned! Dude, I'm out of here! Joseph, what do we do? My guard! Mr. Mr. Mr., my friend just drowned! Well, that's what he gets for swimming during a thunderstorm. You're not gonna save him? And risk my beautiful life? No. What? Whoa! Cody! Cody! Oh, man! Ah, shit, baby, shit, baby, I need your help! Oh, what do you want, Junior? I just got back from the grocery store. I got go -Gurt. You got go-gurts? I want a go -gurt. Yeah, I want a strawberry one. Well, grab as many as you want. <laughs> now, what were you yelling about? Oh, uh, I forgot. Do you remember, Jeffy? No, I just got go on my mind. Yeah, Jeffy, let us eat our go and I'll see if I remember. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh man, Jeffy, this go so good. I just wish I could remember what I was freaking out about. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, Cody! What about him? Remember in the ocean, he got taken underwater. Oh yeah! Shit, baby! Mm-mm, mm, this looks good. Shit, baby, shit, baby, shit, baby! Not right now, Junior, I'm making lasagna. But I remember what I was freaking out about. <sighs> what is it? So earlier today, me, Joseph, Cody, and Jeffy went to the beach. During the thunderstorm? Yeah, during the storm, and Joseph threw a football, and it went in the water, and then Cody went to go grab it, and then he got sucked in on a rip current, and then he never came up. What? What the hell, Junior? He drowned! Cody drowned! Duh, he drowned? Oh, man, he's dead. R.I.P. Cody. What? He's dead? Oh, yes, he's dead. Man, you are a horrible friend. Now you gotta live with that on your conscience. <laughs> uh, don't get no tears in my lasagna. Get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. Hmm. Hey there, somebody call a cop? Sorry it took so long. Those roads out there are wetter than a washing machine, but, you know, like the inside because the outside doesn't usually get wet unless there's a problem with the machine. Anyway, what's up? I want to file a missing persons report. Oh, who's missing? My friend Cody. Oh, well, how long has he been missing for? Maybe about 10 minutes. Wait, what, did he just go home? What, what, are you lonely? Well, no, we went to the beach. What, in this weather? Yeah, and then he was, like, trying to get a football in the ocean, and then he went under, and he started screaming help, and then he never came back up. Well, it sounds like he drowned. Why did you call me here and not at the beach? Well, because I freaked out at the beach, so I came home, and then I got a go-gurt, and then I called you. Wait, you came here, you ate a go-gurt, and then called me? Well, I kind of forgot why I came home, and then I saw Jeffy doing stuff Stuff like that and it reminded me of my friend Cody because he's a little weird. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ugh, this is not making any sense. I'm gonna need one of these go before we continue this conversation. 
Wow, this is good. Yeah, I'd abandon a friend for this. This would definitely help me get over a friend's death. What, you really think he's dead? Yep. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Why do you think he's dead? Well, let's put it all together. He was screaming for help, he went underwater, and he didn't come back up. Kids, can you figure out what happened to Cody? That's right, he drowned. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues, and now your friend is dead. Oh, what do we do now? Well, there's nothing you can do. He's dead. He's fish food, goldfish flakes, Titanic ornaments, Steve Irwin butter. I don't fucking know. Do we tell his mom? Oh, yeah, I probably would. Well, can you go tell her? What, me? I don't want to do that. I hate telling people the kid's dead. It's so sad. And they always cry for no reason. You know, it's not that bad. It's like you have one less mouth to feed and you have more free time. You know that vacation you've been wanting to go on? Well, now you can. Plane tickets are expensive. Now you don't have to bring your stupid dead kid along. It's not that bad. Hey, <laughs> check this out. Can you imagine if this is my wiener? Just, just whip it out like, mm. It'd be huge. It's not even open. All right, I'm going to go. You, guys, you kids have a good day. And done. What do you think about my Cody tribute, Jeffy? It's great, Junior. You're really honoring his life. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> Who's at the door? <sighs> Let me go get it. Hello? Hey, is Cody here? He didn't come home for dinner. Yeah, me and my baby got two rounds in on the kitchen counter and he didn't even come through the front door. Yeah, he usually walks in on us during the first round. Yeah, I was getting it good tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, I was putting on the show and that's all I'm gonna say. Yep, he did. Well, Cody's not here. Well, are you sure? Because he said he was coming over here. Where is he? I know he's here. He gotta be here. Well, you guys can come upstairs and look, but he's not here. Okay. Yeah, I know y'all got some pastries or something in there. Cody, Cody, are you in here? Baby, all they got is pot tarts. Well, hide him under your shirt, Tyrone. I don't want him to know we only came here to steal pastries. Yeah, you right, you right. Oh, what a lovely drawing of Cody drowning. What made you think of it? Because Cody drowned in the ocean today. What? What you talking about, boy? Uh, nothing. Yeah, when we went to the beach, Cody drowned in the ocean. Oh, Oh my god, my poor baby drowned? Yeah, I was drowning in something earlier today. <laughs> Ain't that right, baby? It's true. Well, listen, it was an accident. Cody was trying to get a football, and then a rip curtain took him, and he drowned. Well, by the look of this picture, you boys pushed him into the ocean. That's why you're all smiling. What? Yeah, it looks like a confession to me. Yeah, I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah, and we're gonna sue, because you killed our son. Hey, baby, look at this. They got a 120-pack of Crayola. You know they roll it in dough. Ooh, good call, Tyrone. I, I mean, boo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, let it all out, baby. We gotta make it look good for the camera. I know how to do it, Tyrone. This isn't my first dead kid. I, I mean, boo-hoo-hoo. You're right, you're right. Look, look, I'm gonna go and get the lawyer. Hey there, somebody call a lawyer cop? I didn't really know what to wear, so I just wore my lawyer outfit underneath my police uniform. Yes, officer, I did. Those two boys over there killed my son, and we want money. And justice. Mainly money, but I guess so. We want to buy a new recliner. Yeah, the old one don't recline like it used to. Yeah, Tyrone and his buddy were giving me the old Eiffel Tower, and it broke. Yeah, Steve Stelberg was going way too hard. Huh. Oh, it's you kids! Did they cry when you told them their son was dead? They look like criers. I mean, they kind of cried. Officer, I think these boys made our son drown on purpose. Look how happy they are in the picture. I mean, who goes to the beach in a thunderstorm? Eh, he a homo, so that's a few extra dollars, because that's a hate crime. Yeah, unfortunately it is. Okay, kids, you're under arrest for suspected homicide. But we did not kill him! Well, that picture is pretty damning, so you're under arrest. Consider yourselves arrested. Simon says you're arrested. So when is court, Officer Simon? Right now, come on, let's go! <laughs> order, 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 order! Oh, check this out. This is gonna be cool. Look. <laughs> order! I am the Honorable Judge Pooback. Today we will be hearing the case of Mr. and Mrs. Natkiss, who say that these two young boys caused their son Cody to drown. Junior! Jeffy! Tell us your side of the situation. Well, Your Honor, we all went to the beach to throw the football, and the ball went in the water, and Cody went to grab it, and he drowned. I see, yes. And did Cody want to get the football, or did you tell him to? Like, like Emperor Palpatine. Like, did it. Uh, I did tell him to go grab it, and he didn't want to. Mm, I see. So if you'd never told Cody to get the football, he wouldn't have gotten it, and he wouldn't have drowned, and he would still be alive today, correct? I guess. Well, that sounds pretty guilty to me, but I would like to make this sad and hear from the dead boy's parents. Well, Your Honor, <laughs> Cody was my only son, and I lost him today because of negligence. Ooh, and we also want to sue for some money. Yeah. Mm, money, yes, I understand. So how much do you think your son's life is worth? Come on, honey, think of a good number. You always wanted to go to Bahamas on that trip, right? That's true. Well, whatever the cost of a round trip to the Bahamas would be. Mmm, Bahamas does sound nice. That's a done deal. Junior, 
Jeffy, do you have anything to say that could prove your innocence before I bang the absolute ever-loving shit out of this guy? Well, actually, I, I do, Your Honor. I have something that'll prove that we're innocent. I'm not the one who threw the football, and neither was Jeffy. It was our friend Joseph. He threw the football. Yeah, it was totally Joseph who threw the football. I see. And where is this Joseph now? I don't know. He ran away saying, I'm out of here, dude, because he always does that because of how guilty he is. Yep. That's not true. We found this drawing that Junior did plotting to kill my son. Hmm. Let me see this drawing. Yeah, yes. mm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. D-A-M-N, damn. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the smoking gun. As you can see, Junior here is saying rest in peace, Cody, with a smile on his face, while Cody is drowning with no football in sight. This means there was never a football, and there will never be a football. So I have no choice but to find you two guilty of premeditated Mmm, homicide. Boom! Just like that! Guilty! Guilty, guilty, guilty! As many times as I want, I have all the power here! Guilty, guilty! I am just like He-Man! By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> guilty! I like that. Guilty! Bailiff! Take them away. Yeah. Not so fast. Great googly moogly, it's a sea monster. Ah! I'm not a sea monster, it's me, Cody. But Cody, you, you're dead. You see the, the X's in the eyes. I thought I was dead because I was drowning, and then I got caught up in a big old ball of seaweed that had a pocket of air that I could breathe, and then I washed up on shore and I had to walk home like this. Well, if you're not dead, that means there was no homicide. So if there was no homicide, that means no crime was committed. And if no crime was committed, that means no one is guilty. And if no one is guilty, then that means there's no reason for a trial. Which means I can go home and eat my kids' cuisine. Court is adjourned. I'm taking this with me. Yay! All right, Cody, take that seaweed off. Damn it, baby, now we're not getting any money, and we gotta get our stupid kid back. I am so upset. I really wanted to go to the Bahamas. Oh, the recliner, baby, the recliner! Sorry, Cody, for letting you drown. No, it's fine. Drowning was fun. It was? No, I'm being sarcastic. I'm very pissed off. Well, what can I do to make you happy? Uh, you know what? I want your 120 count box of crayons. But those are so expensive! I know. <sighs> okay, fine. You can keep it. But I want to keep Periwinkle. Deal. <sighs> What's up, dudes? Oh, hey, Joseph. Cody's alive. Oh, cool. Did you get my football? Uh, no. I was drowning. What? Oh, I'm gonna sue you for my football, dude! What? 